Welcome back everybody to Icarus. I'm an old guy gaming and this is part two of our Spirit Walk exploration uh, mini series uh, within the normal series here. So um, what I have done off camera since last time is I built a bridge across the lake. So it's just a basic stone bridge, made it out of stone of course so it doesn't get damaged by the very frequent nasty storms that we seem to have around here. Well, so we got that done. And then um, on the house, this uh, wing of the house, so I guess it's, this is the south wing of the house, uh, is our crafting room. And so what I've done, as you can see, is I just covered it with um, the, the uh, flooring up above. I'm not sure that it's going to stay that way, uh, but it just gives us a place, you know, to, to move into while we're continuing to work on the rest of the house. And as you can see, this is what I've... Um, gotten done so far on the house. We got the first floor walls in All this flooring that we have down here is just temporary Oh, I thought I just killed you now I just killed you uh, it's just temporary so I can kind of move around through here uh, But eventually the flooring in the entire house at least the center part will be uh, this wood flooring that you see here in the crafting room Okay, so the plan is for the north wing to be our kitchen. So this is where all our food stuff's going to be. Um, but what I think I'm going to do is, um, you know, at least for the moment, is set up some kitchen stuff in here so we can start getting into the better food because I've pretty much just continually eaten berries fish and flatbread and uh, I'm gonna get into the better food which means we're gonna need a couple of um, uh, appliances I guess is the word stations whatever um, that we're gonna just temporarily put up in here until I get the other side of, uh, of the north wing of the house ready to, to move into okay so uh, let's go ahead and we want to make ourselves a cooking station so we're gonna need some sticks some stones and some iron ingots I went back up to the cave where we started from and brought back another load of stuff. There's still probably uh, probably t at least two more trips of stuff up there for me to bring down. So I'll, of course, be doing that stuff off camera. Okay, so we put the iron in there. And let's see, we also needed some stone. So we got stone in, in the masonry bench. Let's just grab a stack of that. And let's get the cooking station made. Now, um, the next thing we're going to want to do is make the pot belly stove. I'm trying to think of, do I want to actually make that? I'm, I think I'm going to make it for sure just to do it. But, um, we might just go directly to the kitchen bench because the kitchen bench is going to basically let us make everything the pot belly stove can make, uh, but even better. Uh, so the biofuel stove and the kitchen bench are, are two things next two things I think we're going to do. Okay, so we're going to need 60 refined wood for that. Um, there's 60 right there. Look at that. We'll put that in the machining bench. And then, let's see, we're going to need copper nails, epoxy, steel screws, and iron ingots. Let's make a... Well, I actually have some steel screws in here. I don't know if that's going to be enough. If we need to make more than we can. It is enough. Okay. So let's see, we need iron epoxy, copper nails, and that's it. Okay, so epoxy. I've been making a lot of bone-based epoxy because of all the critters that spawn over there. And it makes hunting very easy for me. So, you know, when they spawn in, I just go kill them all, you know, butcher them up, and then have a bunch of bones to make epoxy. Uh, so that works out really nicely. Uh, so we got the epoxy. Uh, let's grab this iron here. We'll grab the cooking station whilst we're at it. And uh, what else did we need? Oh, copper nails, right, okay. Let's just grab whatever copper nails we currently have in here. Now, we're also gonna need to um, set up a biofuel uh, composter in order to actually use the stove. But let's, uh, let's make the stove first, so we got that done. Okay, cool, so we got those two things made. And then, uh, let's see, for this we're gonna need Iron, copper, concrete mix, and more screws. Okay, so let's just make another uh, batch of screws there. And we should have some extra concrete mix in here. 
So let's see, that's set at 1 of 12. Oops, that's not what I wanted to do. Split the stack. Take one off, bring the 12 over here, put that back there. And then uh, some copper and iron. So we got iron here and copper in here, I think. Yeah. And I have a whole ton of, of iron ingots back up at the other cave, too. Like, just a gob of it. Uh, but it's just a matter of, you know, running all the way up there to bring them back, right? Uh, which is a lot of running. Okay, let's make a couple of these guys. Can we make two? No, we can only make one. Well, we can make two if we grab even more iron. Um, we still need a lot of iron for nails, too. So I'm probably going to make another run up to the cave and just bring a whole batch of iron ingots back with us. Okay, so that gives us the composter and the cans. Very good. I'm going to keep those uh, those items in here. Uh, the arrangement of stuff in here, by the way, is not the final arrangement. What I think is going to happen is um, I'm probably going to remove these walls and have this completely open up into the main hall um, in the final build. But for now, uh, this is just, you know, how things are set up. And we got lots of room in here, so I have stuff kind of spaced out. So why don't we put this guy... Uh, we can just set it right here for now. And again, this is not necessarily where it's going to stay permanently. But it gets us started. Now, we should have a decent amount of tree sap in here. And we should have a whole mess of sticks in here. Let's grab those and maybe even some of this extra fiber that we have. Oh, I don't have room for it. Okay. So we'll put the tree sap in and then the sticks. And I'm also also going to make a lantern too, but i got to get some glass smelted for that. Let's grab some of this silica, place that in here, and get some glass making up. Uh, so we can finally stop using torches uh, okay so you are filling that up so let's go back to our little temporary shack here and uh, I'm like I said I'm not gonna keep this stuff in here for very long at all um, it's just long enough for me to finish that other wing uh, but this is where it's going to be for the moment okay so let's put the cooking station right in this corner here doesn't have to be perfectly lined up, but, you know, close enough so it doesn't look like crap. Um, let's move the stove, or the fireplace, campfire, whatever the hell that thing's called, over. Can I, do I have room to put both of these in here? Probably not. I might have to move this over, but, uh, well, actually, must snap. Oh, right, I gotta put the, the kitchen station down first that's right well actually here let's see again this is temporary so I'm not trying to make it perfect I'm just trying to make it functional until I move it into the actual kitchen area yeah that's not quite enough room is it damn it okay so that means we're gonna have to grab all of this out of here and pick this up and grab all of this out of here and pick this up not a big deal actually Okay, now we can put this there, and we'll set the herbalism bench next to it. Right about here is good enough. And we can put this back on here. This is for food-based processing and medical stuff. Uh, let's put that in there, and we can put these items back in here for now. Including the charcoal. And then we'll just put the cook stove right here so it's right next to our bedroll. And there we go. All right, I'm going to have to go get some raw meat in order to then, of course, make animal fat. But I think that gets us um, set up in here for our cooking items. Uh, so we're going to want to start making pastries, pickled carrots, bread dough, berry jam, um, probably some beer too. Uh, all of that really good stuff. And then uh, we want to make the fruit pie. So what I'm going to have to do for that is uh, we're going to have to run. We're going to have to make a big trip uh, into the Arctic for mushrooms and into the desert 
uh, which is not too far away from us actually down here for squash. And before we do that, we're going to have to have some crop plots set up. So when we bring them back, we can start growing them. Uh, while we go into the Arctic biome, we're also going to pick up some ice um, so that we have an ice box. Or can have an ice box or three. Uh, because there's not a lot of space in there. You know, I think I am going to go ahead and make this anyways. Because now that I think of it... Here, let's go back in here for a second. Are you filled yet? Not quite. Let me look at these recipes again. So we should be able to do pickled carrots and jam now and beer. Yeah, we could do beer and pastry and dough. For here, we could do fruit pie. But we can't do meat pie or vegetable pie yet. We could do pumpkin bread and crumbed fish fillet, though. Meat pie... Okay, so yeah, we can make some things in here, like I said, but we can't make all of it quite yet. So what did we make in the pot belly? We make the fish curry, which is which is pretty good. The meat pie is actually the the better version of fish curry, though, but that requires the mushrooms, right? So we can't do that right now. Um, but you know what? Let's make the pot belly stove anyways because I want to. I want to have it, even if I don't really use it. We're just going to have it because we can. Uh, we're going to have a full service kitchen going on here. All right, let's get some glass out of here. And I'm going to make two of these. More rope. We got some rope in here. So we can always have one in the fuel thing we do full when we swap them out. Okay, so that takes care of that. Um, let's put these... Oh, wait. Did I not pull them out of there? I didn't. Okay, grab them both. Okay, let's actually fill those up first because they'll take... Uh, they'll fill up much more quickly. Uh, I'm going to make some more rope out of this. Oh, I don't know. Let's make 80. Okay, we'll put this rope back in here. For the pot belly, we need... Uh, just some more iron ingots. Yeah, I'm I'm definitely going to have to make another run up north to get another load of iron ingots. Okay, well, that's fine. We can do that. Uh, food is low. Well, do I have enough, though, to make the pot belly right now? Let's look at this again. Uh, no, we're going to make the wood composter, too, but not right now. So I need 38 more ingots. We have 16 there. 8 there. I, I have... I guess we could just smelt this iron ore. I'm kind of hanging on to it for, you know, the compost paste that we're eventually going to have to make. So that gives us 26. Yeah, the only way that's going to happen right now is if I start smelting some of that other ore. Because there's no iron in there. There's no iron in there. Um... I'd like to I'd like to get some of the nicer food. So let's let's grab two of these and smelt them up. Let's just do it. Okay, so it's complaining at us because we're low on food, so let's just have a flatbread. And some of that, and we'll eat some of this too. Okay, so that takes care of our food. I'm gonna put this other glass in here and the copper back in here. Copper nails can go back in here. All right, so, yeah, I think I think that's probably all I have for you guys for now. So let me tell you kind of what, what the plan is um, before I bring me back for the next update. I'm going to make another run up here and, and grab another load of ingots. Uh, so that, that, of course, I'll do that off camera. And then I'm going to make a run into the desert to get some squash and into the Arctic to get some mushrooms and some ice. I'm going to bring all that stuff back, plant the squash and the mushrooms in some crop plots um, so we can sustain those. And then the other thing I think I'm going to do is build the north wing out, just like we did here. 
kick this bit out and then get the kitchen bring start moving the kitchen stuff in here to get that set up and then once we're done with that i'll probably grind some more stone and then uh maybe work a little more on the base and then i'll bring you guys back about at that point uh for an update okay so yeah that is it for now i'll see you guys sometime in the near future oh welcome back guys i have an update for you so uh i have built the north wing and set up the kitchen so you can see what we got going on here uh we got a wood cupboard there we got the kitchen set here uh one refrigerator or rather ice box i'm gonna put another one in pot bellies there cooking stations there that's just my little fireplace uh, we got the new wood composter here that makes fertilizer oxy bench fireplace herbalism bench and mortar and pestle uh, skinny bench and trophy bench so that's what we got set up here in the kitchen so far um, outside the door here man look at all those critters uh, i also have a rain a reservoir so uh, we're gonna probably harvest those critters here in just a little bit and uh yeah so that's pretty much where we are at i started putting together um this part of the main hall uh but what i think i would like to do is maybe put in some of this uh, heavy glass window i'm assuming because this is a heavy glass window that it won't get damaged by the weather i don't know um what we're gonna do is we're gonna set a couple of them up and then wait for a storm and just see how they fare before I, you know, totally commit to this. All right, so let's put that in there. We need some epoxy. We'll grab this epoxy out of here. So how many of those can I make? Three? Yeah, let's just make three of these. Okay. And what we're going to do, what the idea is, if they work, is that I'm probably going to put them... You know, starting up here and kind of do like a, an A-frame sort of idea. So let's take these back down. Okay. And then we'll grab these. I just got back from my final run of... Oh. Oh, these are these kind of windows. Oh, I thought these were like big glass panes, not like actual window windows. All right, those, they don't really look very nice. Not very decorative. Hmm, okay, so glass window, glass window. I guess it's the glass wall that we want. Now, I've been told that if there's an eave over these, then they'll be protected from the weather. Hmm. So we have the stone half pieces, but what I have in, have in mind would be more of an angled type of thing. Okay, um, let's go ahead and make a couple of these. Uh, so we need more glass and more iron ingots. Yeah, so I'm glad I didn't make a whole ton of those without checking it out. I was thinking it was like a, it was like a whole wall, not a not just a, a normal window. Okay, and we'll grab some iron ingots. This is a, these are the last of my iron ingots from the cave, and then I'm gonna have to start. Going out and mining again. All right, how many of those can I make? Four. Let's make three. I'm I'm pretty sure if I just set them right out, you know, without any protection, that the weather will damage them, which kind of makes things difficult for greenhouses. There we go. Okay, so let's put these there. Something to that effect. And if, okay, let's try this. 
Let's put... these here like so this is whoops this isn't necessarily how it's gonna go um, what I want to do is I just want to test and see how they'll hold out uh, with the weather um, okay so I guess I'm gonna have to how do I get out of here <laughs> If I pick this up... Oh, that doesn't collapse that wall. Okay. Good. I was afraid it would. Okay, so let's put that back in place. I need to harvest the garden here. Alright, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to make three of these. Um, actually, no, let's make five of these. And I'm also going to make some, a couple of ceiling pieces as well. Uh, let's make five of those. And this is, again, whoops, this is just a test to see how <clears throat> they hold up to a storm. Uh, which shouldn't be, take too long because we, it storms around here all the freaking time. Just crazy. Okay, so while that's doing its thing there, um, can I jump down here and get those in place? No, I want them to go out the other way. Hmm. Okay. Let's come around here. That deer pushed me out in the water. Okay, so if I try and apply them from this side... No, I want you to go the other way. Alright, that's being a pain in the butt. Let's try something else here. Let's grab these. And I'm going to need uh, these ramps probably too. Okay, so let's just put these here for the moment. And then what we're going to do is... Ramp up to here. There we go. This is what I wanted to do. Okay, so that gets that so it's um covered. Uh, obviously, it's going to be covered on <clears throat> on this side in uh, in the interior, but uh, now it's also covered from the outside. And I'm going to wait for a storm to come in, and then just see how the glass does. Uh, so if the glass is okay, then what I'm thinking of, I'm kind of making this up as I go, but what I'm thinking of is we're going to, you know, this is going to be like an an A-frame type of idea, and the center pieces will be, will be glass going up. Now, do we have triangular glass too? Glass roof, yeah, glass wall angle, okay, perfect. But then it will also be, um, yeah. So, okay, here we go. What's this going to be? A rainstorm. Okay, that should be enough to to test this out and see how it does. Okay, so while we're waiting for that to ramp up, let's harvest these critters out here. It's usually when I shoot one, then they all come after me. And the bear's obviously the most dangerous one. Look at all these wolves coming after me. Uh, 
Well, you guys can't come up the stairs, eh? Even the deer wants to attack us. Hold still. They're hitting my house. I just shoot you? Or are you different? Did you go down? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> like I said before, it makes, makes hunting very convenient here. Oh, we gotta make some food too. We're hungry. We've got some pretty good stuff for food. So let's get these guys harvest first. Now when the red part of the storm comes, that's when we're gonna be able to tell if the glass how well the glass is gonna do. I hope it works because it'll look so cool if we can, you know, use glass for that. We'll see what it does though. Yeah, with the you know this steady supply of critters, just right in the backyard here, I probably won't have to use um uh, sulfur and uh, what is it? Tree sap to make epoxy at all. We'll, we'll be able to make bone epoxy for the whole thing. It depends upon, you know, how much we need at what point in time, you know, because I'm planning on doing just about everything in this playthrough. I'm making everything and just having like a, a really uh, nice in game setup just for the hell of it. This is just the beginning, you guys. We're just getting started here. Very excited. Oh, by the way, I did run into... I didn't even scan for it. I ran into the... Um, whatchamacallit? Uh, exotic deposit. And it seems to me like it's in the same place it was last time. I, I've been told that they're always in the same place. And then I've been told that they're not always in the same place. Um, for random, you know, random scans, not not the specific missions like payday extraction. But it sure seems like the one I ran into is in the exact same place it was the last time I did a random scan for it, which was, uh, I think it was the extended survey in the Riverlands quest that we did for that. Okay, we got a little bit of damage there. Ooh, I can hardly get up the stairs. We got so much damage. Okay, so. The red part just passed, and I don't see any damage at all on this glass. So this might be the trick. We just have to make sure that it's got some eaves over. The problem, the thing that sucks, though, is that these half panels here, they, they don't come in an angled version. Which means we'd have to make, do like a full panel eave, which might look a little weird. I don't know. Not sure. We'll have to see how that how that pans out. All right, let's throw all those bones in there. We'll put um, the leather in here and the fur, and then I got a bunch of raw meat. I've been turning it mostly into animal fat, but we've got a ton of animal fat already, and I have one stack in here for cooking. So we just we don't really need all this stuff, man. Uh, all right, well let's just turn it into animal fat. Okay, speaking of which, not animal fat, but yeah, we gotta eat. So, let's see, what do we want to make today? How about if we make ourselves a meat pie? And we'll make a fruit pie and a vegetable pie. So we're gonna need some pastries. Have a few of those made up already. Um, okay, what else we're gonna need? We're gonna need... Some shrooms and some meat and some pumpkin. Some corn squash and soybeans and shroom. Oh, we already got shrooms. Let's not use the 
the shrooms we've grown, we'll use the wild ones just to use them up. Okay, so there's the meat pie and the veggie pie. And we also need some berries for... Uh, berry, oh, and watermelon. There we go. All right, let's put all this stuff back in the fridge. My dude's like going, what the hell, man? I'm starving. I'm famished. Okay. Meat pie. Veggie pie. Fruit pie. Delicious. Look at that big, ginormous health bar now. Okay, so we'll put the pastry back in there, and food's taken care of for now. Uh, I do plan to put in another ice box, and then what I'll do is I'll pre-prepare, you know, the food and have one with prepared food and one with raw food. I just haven't gotten that far yet. Um, oh, we wanted to go check the crop plots out here. All right, so we got some shrooms here. I have no talents in farming at all on this character. Not a single one. But you know what? It doesn't matter. I mean, it still works. Still gets the job done, so... Not to worry about it. This little farm back here, by the way, is temporary too. I don't know if I mentioned that or not. Just a place to get some crops going until we can set up the actual greenhouse that I'm planting. Oh, we're still in the other one. That one's not finished growing, and that one's not finished growing. Okay, good. Oh, I was also going to go get uh, the repair hammer and fix our stairs. Let's do that. We need to sleep as well. I'm leaving all my doors opened. All right, so let's grab this guy. And yeah, the glass seems to be fine. So this might actually just work. We'll have to see how things go. All right, that's just barely damaged. That one's okay. That one's okay. Door's good, and door frame is good. This is a little broken. And what about this guy? Okay, and this one. We checked all of these, I believe. Okay, everything's good. This is almost half full. I didn't really need to put that there, but I thought, what the hell, let's do it. We'll have cl clean water, and, and that way I can just take my my jars that I have in here and fill them up from here instead of running them out to the lake. Not that it's a big deal to run them out to the lake, but again, like I said, we're we're kind of we're kind of making everything this time. Uh, whether we need to or not. Okay, let's see. This needs to get some wood so we can light the fire and then go to sleep. So let's run back over here. Grab some wood. I'm going to put these back in there for now. All right, let's go to sleep. And it's manana. Okay. Now, uh, what was I going to do? <laughs> I can't remember what I was going to do next. Completely forgot. Completely forgot. Okay, well, I think... Um, Let's think about this for a second. So we, we're going to need... Oh, we're going to need some wood beams for support and for aesthetics. Um, so let's start making a bunch of these. How many can I make? 73? Yeah, we're probably going to need that and then some. But let's start with maybe four, 40. Let's not over-make things either. And we're going to make railings and furniture and all that too. So it's going gonna, it's gonna to look good. So I'm trying to figure out now... Um, what should be the next move here? We might want to... Here, 
let's get back up on our little ramp here. Okay, we're going to pick these back up. I want to, let's see, one, two, three, four, five. I think I want five more glass walls. So let's make those. What are we going to be short of? Everything. All right, here. Wow. This stuff's expensive, isn't it? Holy crap. I don't think we're going to use these at all, so let's... Destroy them and get some of the mats back from them. So we're going to be shy of an epoxy there. Okay, let's grab a full stack of epoxy from here. So, well, that'll get us three more, and then we're going to need more glass, which means I'm going to have to go... Farm silica like crazy. Let's just take all the rest of the silica that we currently have and get that uh, cooking up. Okay. Let's pick these up here. Now, I could, we could go with stone on the corners, so it kind of frames it in. Yeah, I, I, think we'll, I think we'll actually do that. I think we'll actually do that. All right, let's grab some of these beams, and let's make some uh, angled stone walls. Let's make maybe eight of those for the moment. Yeah, we're gonna have to we're gonna need a ton more glass. A ton more glass, okay. Here, let's go right and grab these. Uh, what I'm trying to do at the, right now is I'm trying to just kind of show you guys what the plan is. Um, so you get the idea, and then, you know, I'm going to finish building the front out, the back out, and then put the roof on before I bring you back for the next update. Um, okay, so, yeah, let's put that in there. That can go in there. And then we want to flip this around to there and there. I think that's what we want to do. Okay, now let's grab these. I am going to put a porch out here too, by the way. In fact, we'll probably have like a wraparound porch for the whole house. And my plan for that is to use these foundations here with the support beams because I think they look really good. And then we'll put we'll also put rails on too. But for the moment, what I want to do here is, um, you know what I might do too, actually, now that I think about it, I might put glass in these spots as well. But let's do this. Let's grab these beams and put them in there. This is going to provide, of course, um, Support here. We can do the rest of those from up above But it's also gonna look nice too because it's gonna kind of Outline or highlight I guess the The stone building so it's not just all plain stone give it a little more character Is the idea there 
Okay, so let's put that there. And we're going to need to go up to there with those. And we'll also do angled stone too. Um, but what I was thinking is actually putting the glass in down here too. Instead of these windows. Um, well, I don't know. Should I do that or not? I'm not 100% convinced that that's what I'm going to actually do. So I guess we'll wait and see. All right, let's also put these guys in the corners. And we might also... I can't really put them here because then they're going to block the double window and that looks stupid. But we could maybe put supports there as well. We have enough to make some more glass here or more uh, thingies how many can I make two more okay, let's make two more yeah I don't I don't know I guess what I'm going to have to do is put... I, I, I'm going to have to try it and just see if, if I like it. And, and there's, you know, we I have to like it from both the interior and the exterior as well. So, yeah, okay. Now we want to grab... Did I make more of these? I did. that up there and this one can go up there we'll put another glass piece in there and then of course you know cap it off at the very top and then what we're gonna need to do is we're gonna need to you know something I just that else occurred to me though I wonder if with these support beams in here if that will actually protect the glass uh, just by itself hmm, I don't know all right, we're going to need to make, uh, well, we're going to need to make a bunch of these, but let's just make one for the moment. This will be our peak. Wait, yeah, okay. I'll go here and, oh, no, that's not what I want. Hold on. I want another one of these guys. Well, I guess I still have some. Never mind. That's <laughs> all right. We're going to need more anyway. Okay. Go here and grab the peak piece. That'll go up there. And then do we have enough to make one more glass piece. We got it. We got to make at least finish out the, the wall here so we can all see what it's going to look like. Okay. That's not bad, really. I don't think that's terrible. It's got a little bit of a pattern to it. Is that top piece bass backwards? I think it is. <laughs> I think it's pointing the wrong way. Where's my uh, ramps here? There we go. There we go. Now let's look at it. I like it. Not too bad. Not too bad at all. Now, the only thing is, in order for us to do... Man, I, w I really wish we had half 
wide angle pieces. These guys here, but half, you know, for eaves, right? Uh, how many of these can we make? Let's just make all of those. I mean, I'm, I've got so much stone and wood and everything I'm going to have to farm up for this project, but that's okay. That's part of the fun. Part of the fun. What I'm thinking about doing, though, is, is leaving it the way that it is, waiting for the next storm and just see what happens. And if it takes damage, then we know we're going to have to put, you know, the eaves, the, the whole entire tile width of eave out on the front, which I think is going to look kind of weird, but we can't have our glass breaking. So let's just grab some of these and mess with it a little bit before I let you guys go. Might need to make some scaffolding for this too. Okay, so obviously, yeah, I, and I'm not even sure how I'm going to, if we have the right pieces to intersect the the wings, but I'll worry about that later. Uh, I want to get the main central hall structure done first. Okay, so let's make sure this is a roof piece. And we want it to go there. You know, we might need to put some beams. No, well, maybe not. This is this place is gonna look awesome, you guys. I'm probably gonna build like a little loft in here too, maybe in the back part. And that's going to be be the bedroom. Okay, so... Um, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. We have three more. What are we short here? We're short stone. Alright, well, here's what... Here's what I am thinking. If... If the glass can't hold up to the weather, then what we're going to probably end up having to do is this. Ow. So what I might do is leave this side in place. I'll make another one and leave the other side open. Well, I might end up just doing this anyways because I think it almost looks worse without any eaves at all. We got to run the, the other beams all the way down to the ground too. Let's, uh, let's swim out here just a little ways, get a little bit further distant view from... Man, look at that view. Isn't that just gorgeous? Oh, I love this game. So amazing. Yeah, I think we're going to do this, guys, anyways, whether we need to or not, because I, I do not like it without any eaves there. I just don't think it looks right. Just don't think it looks right. But you get the basic idea of what I have planned... And I still might, I still might actually make these corner pieces glass too. I don't know. We'll have to see. I think it might look better that way from the outside, but I, I'm not convinced. So I'll play with it, try it a couple different ways and, you know, decide which way I like the most. But anyway, you get the basic idea. So what, what I'm going to do now, uh, between now and the next uh, time I bring you back, is I'm going to build this wall out, just like, you know, whatever I decide to go with there. Get the roof in, get the beams in place. Um, and then my plan, like I said, is to build like a, some kind of a loft uh, more on the back end of this. And then all of this is just going to be open out here. And when I get that far, I'll probably bring you guys back at that point for an update. Okay, well, that is it for this episode, guys. This is obviously turning out to be a multi-part episode, but that's okay. 
Um, and so, yeah, I will bring you back with an update in the next episode as we continue to progress and have fun just relaxing here in Icarus. I'm not doing any speed runs and just enjoying the game and checking out all that it has to offer. All right. Thanks for watching. If you guys enjoyed this video, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment and share out the video. And we will catch you in the next episode. Bye-bye.